All right, another shootout. Here we go. This is a Stetson Whippet. Typical American styling. Very nostalgic film noir type of uh, styling. It's got your boxy teardrop. Your squeeze it tight pinch, it looks like, you know, like the old time hats. It's got a big binding on the, the brim to keep the brim strong in the rain. And it's also kind of like Archie Bunker's hat and uh, Al Capone's hat or, or like your grandpa's hat had these old edges to it. Those keep it nice and straight. Um, we're going to compare this very classic American styling to a very classical European styling. I'm going to say this is sort of like an Italian or European styling. Lower crown. Lower crown. Uh, thinner band. The band looks slightly more modern. Streamlined. The edge itself is a little bit more modern and streamlined. That's a, a raw edge with a whip stitch. So it winds up looking very, very sharp and thin because it's just a stitch on the end. It looks sharper. You don't even see the edge of the brim like you would on a raw edge. So it's a very sharp look at a distance, you know. Um, the quality of this hat, the Valencia, is second to none. It's like mostly beaver fur with a little bit of mink. Uh, it's beaver and mink. That was something that uh, was done a long time ago. There was actually, I think, a Stetson hat called A Touch of Mink. That was the name of a series or name of a particular model, actually, yeah. And uh, this guy in Spain is a master felt maker. He's doing a beaver with a little bit of mink, which gives it a, a soft, just a super soft, like, buff down to a really fine finish. Now, the difference in this styling, yeah, it's very... Graceful. Look at the lines. It's basically like all soft lines, no no sharp curves, no right angles. Okay, look at the back of this hat. It's all sharp curves, all right angles, basically. It's like a, a box. Graceful, boxy. So this one says, you know, reporter or a black and white movie. Clark Kent dude. It's going to give you more depth because of that. It's coming up. Less depth on this because it's coming down, but the felt is so soft that if you, your head did touch the top, it would basically just bend it and make a little impression, you know, pop it up by itself. This is hard to do while holding the camera. Valencia, much more expensive hat. It's like 560. Uh, it does come in a little bit cheaper version, an all rabbit version for 310 called the Seville. Same exact specs, except it's rabbit. Same edge, same band, same styling. It's an Italian styling. This hat, the Whippet, comes in a lot of colors. And it's rabbit, and it's about 210 bucks. So you can get like almost three Whippets for the price of this hat. This is a beaver hat, handmade, custom made to our specs. This is a production hat made of rabbit. Well, both, they'll both probably last you the same amount of time. If you're rough on your hats, you're gonna rough them both up. If you're good to your hats, they're both gonna last you almost indefinitely. We get old timers in here with hats like this from decades and decades ago and they still look great. So there's the two edges, vintage and modern, American, European, Valencia versus Whippet.